To run a three-phase motor with a single-phase supply, start and run capacitors are used to simulate the missing third phase. Here I explain how to connect the capacitors and what criteria you should take into account. A three-phase motor can be run with a single-phase supply considering a start capacitor, but if in this case it fails to start and just keeps ringing, then a start capacitor is necessary. Here we have both capacitors. The run capacitor is also known as the work capacitor or permanent capacitor. Let's see what function they perform. Start capacitor. It provides the starting torque needed to start the motor. It is connected only during the start of the motor and disconnected after a few seconds once the motor reaches a speed close to the nominal speed. For disconnection, a relay or timer is generally used to disconnect the start capacitor after a few seconds. Run capacitor. It keeps the motor running once it has started since it allows simulating the missing third phase. This capacitor remains connected during the entire time that the motor is running. We can physically differentiate these capacitors as follows. The starting capacitor is called motor starting capacitor, which means starting capacitor, while the running capacitor, in some cases, is called run capacitor, which means permanent running capacitor. On the other hand, the starting capacitor is generally black and has the terminals embedded, that is, protected with part of the capacitor cover. While the running capacitor is generally white and has the terminals exposed. To calculate the values of these capacitors, it depends on many factors, but you can use these approximate formulas. If the motor power is in kilowatts, then the value of the running capacitor is approximately 70 multiplied by the useful power of the motor. And the value of the starting capacitor is approximately double the value of the running capacitor. If the motor power is in HP, then the value of the running capacitor is approximately 50 multiplied by the useful power of the motor. Please note that these formulas are approximate, since teachers and technicians, due to their years of experience working with this type of motor, use it this way and have not had any problems. Obviously, there is a mathematical explanation for this, which is deduced from the formula explained in the previous video. There are even other formulas, but as I said, that depends on several factors. Comment below if you want to explain all these formulas in detail in another video. Well. As an example, I am going to consider a 1.5 kW motor, which is equivalent to 2 HP. If we replace it in the formulas, we obtain that the start capacitor must have an approximate value of 105 microfarads, therefore, the start capacitor must be 210 microfarads. But of course, in many cases we will not find these values since some are not very common or commercial, that is why a close value must be considered. For example, I am going to consider for the run capacitor 100 microfarads and for the start capacitor 200 microfarads. Now we can see how the connection of these capacitors would be made if the three-phase motor has three or six cables. First of all, you should know and take into account the following. This method should be used in low-power motors, generally less than 5 HP and whose startup starts almost without load. Since with this connection method the motor power will be reduced by 20% to 25% and the motor torque will be reduced by 30% to 50%. If the electric motor has only three cables, the connection of the capacitors is simple. First, connect the phase of the single phase power supply to one of the motor terminals or cables. Connect the neutral of the single phase power supply to the second cable of the motor. For the run capacitor. From the phase, connect to one terminal of the capacitor, and from the other terminal of the capacitor, connect to the third cable of the motor. If we want the motor to turn in the opposite direction, the capacitor is simply disconnected from the phase and connected to the neutral, or if you have two phases, then it is connected to the other phase. For the start capacitor. This capacitor is connected in parallel with the run capacitor and is used only during the start of the motor. Once the motor reaches its nominal speed, this capacitor must be disconnected to avoid damage. That is why a switch, relay, or timer must be considered to make the disconnection. Generally, the disconnection is made after 2 to 3 seconds after the motor starts. If the motor has 6 cables or terminals, it means that it has 3 coils, since 2 cables come out of each coil. These cables can be designated with letters or numbers, that depends on the country of origin. 
Here are the equivalences according to the different standards. I am going to use the IEC standard, if in your case it has any other letter or number, just look at these equivalences to know which cable it corresponds to. For this type of motor, the coils are required to be connected in a star or delta configuration in order to connect the capacitors. The connection diagrams are shown here. The top part shows the configuration of the coils in a triangle, while the bottom part shows the terminal diagram of the motor and how it should be connected. The explanation follows. In the motor terminal box, a base is shown where the terminals of the coils that correspond to the six cables are connected. Metal strips must be used to join the terminals U1 and W2, also to join V1 and U2, and finally W1 and V2. If in the case you only have the six ends of the cables, then you must make the three connections as indicated in the diagrams. Now, from the U1-W2 connection, and from V1-U2, you must connect the phase and neutral to the single phase power supply. We proceed to connect the run capacitor. From the terminal where the phase is connected, a cable is connected and taken to a terminal of the run capacitor. From the remaining W1-V2 junction, it is connected and taken to the other terminal of the capacitor. Usually the start capacitor has four terminals, you must connect diagonally, as shown and you will have no problems, it does not matter which way since it has no polarity. Now we proceed to connect the start capacitor. This capacitor must be connected in parallel to the start capacitor. From what we already have here, from terminal 3 of the motor a cable is connected and taken to a terminal of the start capacitor. Then, from the first terminal of the motor a cable is connected. And also from the remaining terminal of the capacitor another cable is connected and left as shown, since between these must be the device that allows disconnection after start. Up to this point, I am going to do the simulation of the engine operation. Only one switch or key has been considered to turn the engine on or off. Before raising the key lever, we must connect the start capacitor, then raise the key lever. After 2 or 3 seconds, we must disconnect the starting capacitor and only leave the running capacitor connected. If we want to turn off the engine, just lower the lever on the key or switch. Warning! For this test, you must be careful not to directly touch the exposed wires as you may suffer an electric shock. It is shown here only for explanation, as you must consider a normally open button, a relay, or a timer to disconnect the starting capacitor. Also, we must know that the capacitor can be left with stored energy, which is why it is recommended to place an electrical resistor between the terminals of the starting capacitor. This resistor has to be of a high value, for this case it has been considered 10k ohms and 5 watts. Up to this point, the electric motor should work without problems. Comment below if this method helped you, or if you have any problems. Please also comment if you would like me to make a video using a timer, contactor and push buttons for this type of motor starter, although I already have quite a few videos on the subject on the channel. Doing this work takes quite a bit of time, which is why I ask you to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share this valuable information. This way it encourages me to continue making more videos.